from Denver 7, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Ariel Mata. Late this afternoon, the State Health Department confirmed six new cases of H1N1 virus in Colorado. The latest cases are in Denver, Arapaho, Jefferson, Eagle, and Garfield counties, all counties that have previously reported cases. A total of 25 Coloradans have confirmed cases of the virus. One of the latest victims is a student at West Middle School in the Cherry Creek District. The student hasn't been in class since Monday. Stay with 7 News and the DenverChannel.com for the latest developments on the outbreak. We continue to follow a story still developing tonight. Police are still searching for a man who killed a college student from Colorado. 21-year-old Johanna Justin Yinich of Tinneth was studying at Wesleyan University in Connecticut when she was killed yesterday. She was working at a bookstore where a man wearing a wig shot her. The suspect may be a man she reported to police two years ago for stalking and threatening her. A family friend who taught Johanna remembers her as a remarkable young woman. Academically brilliant and also just a real human being, a very sensitive and strong at the same time, compassionate human being. University officials have been urging students at Wesleyan to stay indoors, and staff members were told to stay home today. Water gushed out of the Cherry Creek Reservoir today for about two and a half hours. It's all part of an annual project. Crews opened the four outlet gates one at a time to flush sediment out of the reservoir's pipes. The extra water may temporarily flood bike paths and stream crossings today. Dozens of homes have been destroyed by an out-of-control wildfire burning in the hills above Santa Barbara, now that's in central California. The fire has burned 1,500 acres. More than 13,000 people have been evacuated. Triple-digit temperatures and strong winds expected this evening could drive the flames into even more homes again tonight. A fire station in Lakewood is inviting you and your family out tonight for a demolition project. Until 7 tonight, residents can stop by West Metro Station number 4 and take their best shot with a sledgehammer. The station on West Alameda is going to be torn down and replaced. Coming up on 7 News, police forced their way into the wrong home overnight. The reason they are giving for that mistake. Plus, we told you earlier this week about a robbery at the Five Star Broadmoor Hotel. Next, pictures of the burglar all dressed up for his crime. Is there a home sitting empty in your neighborhood? Why one city wants to hear from you. And if you see breaking news happening, log on to thedenverchannel.com and click on My Report. That's where you can upload your cell phone or other video and pictures. You can also email them to us at myreport at thedenverchannel.com.